Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. If you watched last week's vlog, you know that I'm starting this week's vlog a little bit hungover, because yesterday was my birthday. I got a little turnt, and I don't get a little turnt that often, but I'm just saying if I look tired as fuck, that's why. Um, I don't know what I'm reading today. Uh, no, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read Feastmakers. I think I'm gonna read, like, get 50% into Feastmakers, and then I'm going to possibly either... I'm thinking about starting, um imaginary friend which is a book that i really like it's a horror book that i really really like um she'd be spooky though y'all where did i put it um this guy uh she's spooky i haven't read it since the first time i read it so i'm thinking about reading it again but it's huge and so i don't know if i'd finish it anytime soon although to be fair the first time i read it i read it all in one sitting and it was such a long time ago that I don't totally remember what happens in it, which is even more exciting, right? So, you know, I think that's really it. I don't have a whole lot of update to give. Um, I, in last week's vlog, I talk about this, but I got a, um, Phil got me the Mini 2 Retro 4-Pass printer for my birthday, which is super, super exciting. Um, I love that for me. Um, ugh, I'm nauseous. I hate that. Gross. I'm going to go take a Mite all in a minute and that will help. But, um... So I love that. I'm really excited about this. Um, I also am finally like fully caught up on my note cards and my field notes. So I think every Friday I'm going to like make it a task to update my field notes into index cards just every Friday. Um, that way, like I have a set time that I'm going to do that. Um, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm currently moving all of the fun facts that my friend from work has sends me into my field notes because he's been sending them to me for about two months and I love them. I love fun facts and I love that that's something that we get that we do. Um, so I need to just do that. Side note, lost my cane. Don't know where that is. <laughs> like I don't know what I did with it. Did I leave it in my parents car? Surely they didn't let me come inside without it so I don't know. Um, it was a night, all right? It was a night last night but I got to see Bella and that's good. Um, but that's it. I think I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you later. Ozzy and David are gonna be here this weekend, so that's exciting. Um, and yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good morning. Happy Friday. Should have charged the camera battery. Definitely didn't. Gonna regret that later. It is Friday, May the 31st. Um, my laptop's fixed, so that's great for me. Uh, my dad fixed it, and I'm going to continue to use my big desktop for stuff though like I don't know it just that way like my laptop just stays like my laptop like I can take it other places and things will sync I don't know I don't know anyway hi hello how you doing um I am going to be starting the adventures of Amina al Sarafi today and then getting 75% into feast makers uh both of these are for my TBR for clear your shit but clear your shit starts tomorrow, so what are you going to do, you know? My power keeps going out because it's storming, so that's great. So that's where we're at today. I might do another update later, but my battery is going to die. But I thought I would do a quick update because I felt like shit yesterday. So here's your quick update. Uh, hopefully I'll have a longer thing to say later, but you guys have a good day. Okay, thanks. Bye. In a very exciting twist... I got the Querying Your Shelves box again this year from Random House. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I got this last year and I got to read a lot of books that I would not have expected to get. Um, and yeah, so I got this. We're very excited. The cool thing is last year this came out right at the end of June. <laughs> so it was like, cool, Pride Month is ending. <laughs> this time it's getting delivered, which I think they probably heard a lot of people have the same complaints. Um, this time it's delivered on May 31st, so very exciting. Ooh! From memoirs and rom-coms to fantasy and more. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. This time we have, we have a fun sticker, which I definitely got last year. Um, but we also got bookmarks. Romance at random. Not signing up for that, but I support you. 
don't know, I guess this is like a gay pride apparel thing. And then this is a bookmark for paying Random House. If, ra if Random House is like any kind of, in any kind of drama, don't tell me, I don't know. I mean, do tell me, but like, I don't know about it, so nobody get mad at me. Um, the packaging is always is very cute. We've got a nice little thing. We've got some early reads, which is cool. The early reads we have is Cash Delgado is Living the Dream by Taylor K. Mejia. I like Taylor K. Mejia's writing, so I'm excited about that. Um, it is a small town bartender juggles, juggles motherhood and a sexual awakening and his heartwarming queer friends to lovers romance. Then we have Wild Failure by Zoe Whittle, which is a dazzling debut collection of short stories. Uh, and we have Rules for Ghosting, uh, Save His Family's Failing by, Je uh, sorry, Rules for Ghosting by uh, Shelley J. Shore, um, To Save His Family's Failing Funeral Home and His Own Chance at a Queer Love Story, A Reluctant Clairvoyant, Must Embrace the Gift He Longed in This Poignant and Tender Debut. Um, and then the other, I guess there's a list of all of the books, which is cool. We didn't get this last time. And I think we all got different books last time. Of the people that I know, we, we got various different books. Um, and now this time we also have... I think what I like about this box already more than I did last month or last year is that there's a lot of ways to support queer people and there's a lot more information than just a box of books just showing up to your house at the end of the month. Like Pride Month had already was already ending and for me I do my TBR super early. This is way more goodies, way more, I don't know, it feels like this was less of an afterthought than the last one felt a little bit like an afterthought if that makes sense. Um, but this one is a list of support queer owned bookstores which is cool. Um, I love that Texas has exactly one, and it's in Austin, uh, one that's listed anyway. That's cool. And we'll get to the books after. Let me just keep digging through. We got a bag. I love a tote bag, like to a dangerous degree do I love a tote bag. They're just so good for carrying stuff in. Oh, and it came up, oh, that's so fun. It's from a brand, brand, band, a brand called Out of Print, and they have, this is their tag. And then it has like their, who they are on the side. The tote says Queer Book Club. I love that. That's, it's very fun. Ooh, and it's a tote with a pocket on the inside. This is a very cool bag. I'm very excited about this. Um, okay, let's look at the books. Oh, we have fun with this. How's my battery already dying? Hold on, let me replace the battery. Let me replace the battery. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys back a little bit. Okay. So this is one of the early releases that I mentioned. Wild Failure uh, by Zoe Whittle. Whittle? Uh, from Ballantine. And it comes out... Uh, 8 August, August 20th, so in two months. Then we have The Phoenix Bride by Natasha Siegel. It is a tale of plague, fire, and forbidden love in the 17th century London. Could be interesting. We have Horse Barbie uh, by Gina Rosero. I'm, the reason I'm laughing, now that I see that this is a memoir, I'm just saying I was laughing because it's, I thought it was going to be a horse girl book, like a, like a horse girl book. Oh, that's what they called, they mocked her as. This is about, um, Philippines highest earning trans pageant queen. So that'll be interesting. That'll be actually really interesting. I feel bad now that I, well, actually, no, it's what they mocked her as. So I think I have this on a list somewhere, or I've seen this cover. A Sweet Sting of Salt by Rose Sutherland. I don't know why I would have seen this cover though. It is loosely based on the Scottish folk tale, The Selkie Wife. Okay, I know that tale, um, but it's queer. We love that. Queer, sel Selkies being queer just makes sense. We have Looking for a Sign by Susie Duman. A queer Aries dives headfirst into the New Orleans dating pool with a zodiac based challenge and this new romance. I love astrology, so that's fun for me. Then we have. Oi! I'm guessing that's how this. It, it's O Y E, so I'm guessing it's how it's pronounced. By Melissa Mongolan. 
It is a coming-of-age comedy, a telenovela-worthy drama, a movie family saga, all in a phone call you won't want to hang up on. It's structured as a series of one-sided one phone calls. Oh, I think that'll be fun. I think this will be really fun to read. We'll see, though. And we love a hardback. We have another hardback. Uh, Knife River by Justine Champine. Campine? Champine? Did I only get one of the... early releases? I did, and it was just the story. That's fine. I'm not mad about it, but anyway. Knife River seems like a scary book. I think that it is. Who do you believe when you can't even trust yourself? Seems very fucking stressful to me. A haunting story of family home and the bond between sisters. We'll see. And then The Spare Room by Andrea Bartz. I, I usually like Andrea Bartz. I get mixed feelings about her. Uh, staying with a friend and her husband is sexier and deadlier than anyone could have imagined. This provocative domestic suspense novel from the best-selling author of We Were Never Here. Watch her name be pronounced Andrea, and I just keep saying it wrong because I keep saying it like my name because everyone says my name wrong. That's it, though. Those are the books. I'm excited for it. There's quite a bit that I, I have, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading, and then quite a bit that I'm not sure about, but it will be good regardless. So I'm going to leave this box here. Ozzy should be coming to my house today and this she'll want to go through. That's it though. I just thought I would give you I don't want to close this out like a vlog update. Here's a box of books I got delivered today. It was cool. This box I think was structured more effectively than the first one. Like I said. Um, but I'm very glad. Thank you to Random House for including me in this list. Thank you for emailing me asking if I wanted it. Um, yeah. Thanks. I yeah, I don't know what else. Thank you. I don't think you watch my YouTube, but if you do, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye! You want to get him a high seat? No, he's getting her an umbrella. Fuera loca, 12 12. Garbage cat, number 99. This is our team, SpongeBob. Two teams, and we are ready to get started on the first jam. Do you want to announce the uh, referee? Mom, you're rooting on a different team. Oh, no, okay. Somebody, I told you you'd like this. And I'm not joking, there's a golden spatula in a. It is June the 3rd. It is Monday. Um, Ozzy's probably awake by now because my house is not quiet in the morning on Monday morning, but Ozzy's here. Uh, as you guys saw from Roller Derby, we went to Roller Derby. It was a lot of fun. I've never been to one an outdoor track and then to a flat track, so that was cool. Um, we uh, had a lot of fun. Anyway, we had a lot of fun. Um, I... Today I'm going to be finishing oh, The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I started it Friday and I'm enjoying it a lot actually. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Um, I also am going to finish The Peacemakers. I'm like 90% into it so it's not going to take that long but I'm, I'm going to be finishing it. Um, and yeah, I really think that's it. Short and sweet update. I have to like clean up the house and get ready for Phil coming. Phil, Becca, and Baby coming. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of that, probably throughout the rest of this vlog. Um, Phil flies in at the start of next week's vlog, so you have that to look forward to. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of it. That's, that's really the, the big of it. Um, so I am... I'm going to go. I just thought I would give you that quick little update. 
Um, yeah, hopefully I get some more visual in the interim while I'm cleaning and stuff. I'm walking a little bit better. Um, I'm kind of, while I'm at home, I don't need the cane or the knee brace. Um, the knee brace helps a lot, so realistically I could probably walk with just the knee brace um, at this point, but I'm not because I hate wearing it. It's uncomfortable and also it reminds me as when I was a child and I was told I'd have to wear one for the rest of my life and it made me mad. So, <laughs> um, so that's where I'm at with that, but yeah, that's, that's it. I think that's the, the big of it. So I'm gonna go, uh, set up my to-do list for the day and my, uh, schedule for the week. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks, bye. Good morning. Two more sleeps until Phil's here. Very exciting. I'm going to move this because for some reason my camera loves to focus on this thing instead of me. And I don't know why. Um, good morning. I got most of my chores done yesterday. So that's exciting for me. The only thing that I didn't do is finish making this gift I'm making for Isabella, uh, which I can do today. So not a big deal. I did finish uh, The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. That shit was good. That was a five-star read, actually. I don't generally have five-star reads anymore, so that was really, really surprising, um, which reminds me that I need to mark it in here, but it was a five-star read. Uh, it was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I also finished The Feastmakers yesterday. I wouldn't say it was a five-star read. It was a four-star read, but I didn't hate it or anything. Um, it, it just was what it was. Uh, there were some things that I think could have been done better. Uh, I think the writing got a little uh, hard to follow at times and not in a bad way necessarily. I think that it just is such feral writing. I don't know how else to explain that. It was still a four star read though so like it wasn't again it wasn't bad. I still enjoyed it um, and that's also a book that I've just had like sitting waiting for me to read for ages so here we are. Um, but yeah, The Adventures of Me and Alice Rafi was really good. I also started Mother Hunger yesterday. I realized that I had it written down that I wanted to get 25% into that yesterday. Uh, so I went ahead and did that because I don't know how much reading I'm actually going to manage to get done with Phil here. Um, so I'm trying to get ahead of my reading while I still can. This thing, my book journal, she's chunky. She's gotten chunky. This is the, so, uh, this is the cousin of Vex. So this is just in the first six months. Um, uh, so that's good because she's, again, very chunky. Um, but it's fine. And today I'm going to start If You Could See the Sun and then I'm going to continue reading Mother Hunger. I had put that I wanted to get 50% into If You Could See the Sun today, but I don't know what I was thinking because it's... I don't have it as an audiobook, so I don't, and like I have it marked everywhere that it's an audiobook. So I put the audiobook on hold because clearly that had been my intention, but um, I do have the ebook, so I don't, I don't know what I was thinking with that, but um, here we are. So started Mother Hungry yesterday. That is a nonfiction about relationships between mothers and daughters and that sort of thing. Um, 
yeah. I think the book that I'm probably like most likely to read while Phil is here is going to be the Sean McGuire book because it is a physical book. But I also have all of those books from the Queer Box that I got. So I could also read those. I don't know which one I'll tote around and carry on. And then I also have Imaginary Friend, which I keep wanting to reread, but then not rereading. So uh, yeah, we'll see what I end up doing. I'm going to finish filling this out before my workday starts. Work has gotten very, very busy. There's some big moves happening at work that I can't talk about yet, but they are both good and bad. So I might be very stressed out soon. Um, but right now, I'm just fucking hoping I can take my vacation um, because it is looking more and more like I'm not going to be able to take it in full. And that's very, very unfortunate for me. Um, very frustrating, very unfortunate, but I will figure it out like I always do. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go though. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good morning. I'm sorry that you can hear my Roomba. I know that you can hear my Roomba, um, but I'm closing the vlog out here. And I also I recognize the lighting is fucking trash. Hold on. Okay, the Roomba I can't do anything about because it's got to run. Um, I mean, realistically, I could stop it, but Phil's about to be here, so I can shut the door. Let's shut the door. I wasted too much time, I might have to leave in 30 minutes. Ah, okay, uh, so, hi. Hello, how you doing? Uh, this is where I'm going to close out the vlog. Um, next week's vlog, we're going to have special guest Phil, my bestie, and um, tattoos are going to be done. Um, it's just, it's going to be a good time, right? So... Yeah, uh, that's what you have to look forward to in next week's vlog. I will also say I finished the two books that I was talking about yesterday. I finished Mother Hunger. It was okay. Uh, Non-fiction book, right? So I didn't have like super incredibly high expectations or anything like that. It just was a non-fiction book about uh, different forms of meeting your mom <laughs> and not getting that uh, like... I don't know, handled as a kid. That one right there is too big. I'm going to have to redo it. And so, yeah, it was okay. And then I finished If You Could See the Sun yesterday. Um, it was good. I, a young adult, so, you know, there were some things I couldn't quite relate to anymore. Uh, like the just plot around, like, parental approval and school as a whole. Uh, but it was an interesting concept, and I did enjoy it for that, so... I'll give it that. Uh, it was both of those were four star reads for me. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna start Shauna McGuire's uh, Magic for Nothing. I think, yeah, Magic for Nothing, and I'll start that sometime today, hopefully. Um, I did get Mag uh, Shauna McGuire's title Creatures, which is the next book in the Middle Game series. So my read, I want to do a reread of all three of those and do a video on it. Should be coming up soon. So I'm going to close up the vlog here, though. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, I understand it's my life. I think that's it. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye.